Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness suddenly seems like the MCU crossover climax. Upcoming titles are edging toward from WandaVision's finale to even the Falcon and the Winter Soldier hat shaming the Sorcerer Supreme. There are no wizards. Doctor Strange is a sorcerer. A sorcerer is a wizard without a hat. WandaVision's final moment set up the Scarlet Witch to be the primary harbinger of chaos. Behind the mysteries of Spider-Man No Way Home, Loki, and Multiverse of Madness, so let us connect all the dots for Kevin Feige's master plan for this multiverse saga now that it has its villain or its mother or its Dorothy Gale however you want to look at it Dorothy was kind of the villain there she crushed a woman stole her shoes and killed her sister after she got her own dog sentenced to death after not leashing him this video is brought to you by Squarespace from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business so WandaVision showed Wanda Maximoff evolving into the true Scarlet Witch having absorbed the powers of Agatha Harkness and all the past witches that Agatha drained and acquiring the Darkhold, the evil Marvel spellbook. Agatha informed her that the powers of the Scarlet Witch surpass even those of the Sorcerer Supreme, a call out that Doctor Strange could have challenged if he bothered showing up to this instead of eating Ben and Jerry's with Wong. And this post credit scene proved it. Wanda uses astral projection, a spell Doctor Strange and the other sorcerers use, but while they have to leave their physical bodies incapacitated because their souls can only be in one place at a time, Wanda's physical body continues walking around making tea and this all happens as the Doctor Strange theme plays. She's taken his music. One of the many things that went unresolved in WandaVision was the final commercial we saw for Nexus Antidepressants. Now the word Nexus is extremely important to Wanda's next move because it comes from the fact that she is a Nexus being in the Marvel comics. Someone so powerful that they can tap into other dimensions of the multiverse. And that's what makes the Scarlet Witch unique. And as we saw in the Dark Hole, the illustration showed the Scarlet Witch figure along with a series of overlapping circles. I interpret this as a depiction of a spell that Wanda can use to tap into all the alternate realities. And that is what she's doing in this final scene. She's searching reality by reality, looking for her children. But Agatha warned her that by becoming the Scarlet Witch, she unleashed something. I think the fear is the same fear the sorcerers like Mordo and Wong felt when their untrained rookie read too far ahead in the textbook. Temporal manipulations can create branches in time. Unstable dimensional openings. Spatial paradoxes, time loops! In other words, the sorcerer is too powerful, they're gonna break everything! So in Wanda's pursuit of her children, she's likely to create the kind of multiversal chaos that Mordo and Agatha warned about. As Agatha read from the prophecy in the Darkhold, the destruction of the known world. This could explain why Loki ends up with the TVA in the upcoming Loki series. After his escape in Avengers Endgame, the TVA arrests and tries him, and apparently to clear his record, it appears he must help the TVA with some timeline related crisis. But why would they need Loki? Why can't they do it themselves? Well, it could be because Loki is a sorcerer, a practitioner of magic. He learned his sorcery from Frigga, who was another Marvel witch. That sorcery could be needed to get to the bottom of the way this chaos magic is causing the various timelines of the multiverse to not up in quantum entanglement. Now, Spider-Man No Way Home is coming this December, but technically WandaVision takes place seven months before Spider-Man Far From Home. The second movie of that series. And even in that movie, there is evidence that Wanda's actions have affected that world, from Peter's interest in the multiverse. I'm sorry, you're saying there's a multiverse? Because I thought that was just theoretical. I mean, that completely changes how we understand the initial singularity. To Mr. Dell's recurring obsession with witches and witchcraft. You know, being a man of science, witches. Camp of Science, we're leaving because of witches. But again, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Are you looking for a website to sell your wares? Like you built dollhouse versions of the buildings in the MCU and you'd like to sell them to very specific collectors? Well, you can present your tiny Stark Tower to the world using Squarespace's professional portfolio designs. Display projects in customizable galleries and add password-protected pages to share private work with clients. You can auto-post your content to Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr, they have built-in mobile websites and a really slick mailing list feature to stay in touch with your customers. Squarespace will even sell you a URL. So head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com newrockstars 
to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's squarespace.com slash new rock stars for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So in the Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline, Spider-Man No Way Home probably takes place shortly after Spider-Man Far From Home did, since it did end in such an insane cliffhanger of Peter Parker getting exposed and falsely accused. No Way Home is confirmed to feature people like Alfred Molina as Doc Ock and Jamie Foxx as Electro, which don't totally make sense because they played villains in alternate Spider-Man movie universes in the MCU. So either these actors have just been the MCU versions of these villains all along, or some multi reason is behind it. Now, now, I know, by casting Evan Peters as simply a dude named Ralph Boner in WandaVision, that side of Marvel said that they must not think most viewers will care if they never explain this kind of stunt casting. But it also seems like the makers of WandaVision felt that since their series took place in this magical hex reality where anything conceivably was possible, they had a bit of leeway to try to pull some bold moves like that. And Jamie Foxx, Electro, and Alfred Molina, Doc Ock, these are much higher profile names, major villains, so it leads us to at least suspect that some kind of reality bending could be going on in No Way Home to justify this. Furthermore, you could already see evidence of quantum entanglement in that Far From Home post credit scene with J.K. Simmons as J. Jonah Jameson, an actor also from the Raimiverse. What is he doing in the MCU now? And set photos on the No Way Home set show posters for missing children. So what is going on? I believe Wanda's search for her children through the multiverse might cause people in things from one universe to chaotically collide into other universes, causing some people to go missing from this universe and others to arrive from other universes into this one. This chaos is what brings Doctor Strange into No Way Home. Actually, in the set photo the actors shared a couple weeks ago, there is a shadowy outline on MJ that if you brighten it up, looks like the shadow of Doctor Strange's head, as if he, in this moment, is appearing to them via a portal. And that could tell us what No Way Home means. In a world where all universes are colliding into each other, you could find yourself without your actual home and no way to go back to it. Unless you have the help of the ultimate doctor of the Marvel multiverse, the physician the Nexus commercial even advised to call. You should not take Nexus unless your doctor has cleared you to move on with your life. Doctor Strange seeking to treat the Scarlet Witch in the Multiverse of Madness and restore the broken multiverse. Support this channel by checking out one of our many great merch options at NewRockStarsMerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars. Subscribe to New Rockstars for everything Marvel. Thanks for watching. Bye.